Okay, so in this video we're going to have a look at um, some synthesis concepts, um, but really in particular uh, Ableton's operator instrument, which is in the instruments folder, and there's operator there, which is I've loaded onto a new track. So let's have a look at the different sections um, of operator to get started. So I've just got it soloed. I'm going to make a bass sound, which is pretty simple to start with, and then we'll we'll muck around with a few other things. So Operator um, has a number of areas that you can look at. Over this side you've got oscillators with levels um, and fixed and tuning. So basically at the moment all of these are turned off. Well, they're, they're on but their volumes are all down. Um, and there's a sine wave is, is selected as the waveform. So. That's what's happening at the moment. So I'm just playing these with my um, MIDI controller. Um, so if I turn the level down, the signal gets quieter and louder and so on. Um, the center section will display parameters that are associated with what, whatever you've got selected on one of these side tabs. So if I select the filter, for example, you'll see graphics and um, parameters that are associated with the filter. So I click the oscillator, you'll see parameters um, associated with the oscillator. So let's just have a quick look around what you can do with the oscillator section. So you've, I've shown you you've got your levels and tuning. Um, or Okay, so we're going to leave that on one. Different waveforms. So we're on a sine wave, which is just a single um, frequency, just a pure... Um, one frequency with no harmonics um, you can go through and add harmonics so you can draw them in um, if you want as well which is going to change the tone of it or you can use any of these presets so as I said before there's a sine wave then there's sawtooth which is all harmonics and you can add more and more so that's with a whole lot of harmonics in it and this one only has three. So the more harmonics, the the brighter the sound. Um, square wave is the same thing. So from so these are odd harmonics only. We'll look at that in a bit more detail in class. They sound different. So they're odd harmonics. Sawtooth has all harmonics at different, slightly different amplitudes. But as I said, we can talk about that later. Triangle wave again, different configuration. Let's pick a sawtooth with a lot of harmonics just so we can um, explore the synth. Uh, in fact, I might stick with the sine wave for a little bit longer because it's less annoying. Okay, so um, there are a few other features which we'll leave alone for the time being. So you can you select a waveform and you can do that per oscillator. And the next thing to look at is the envelope. This has a you know massive impact on how uh, your instrument sounds. So at the moment it's a very abrupt attack so it starts instantaneously. There's no drop of level after the decay it's just on and up and then there's a short release. Um, at the moment the release is 50 milliseconds. We can make that one just to demonstrate so it's a real on off sound and it's clicky because it's so um, so short. So if you want to get rid of the clicks you would smooth out your attack and release a little bit. So this is still very sharp on and off sound, but it's not as clicky. I probably need to give the attack a little bit more. So no clicks, lots of clicks. Okay, so... Um, this is kind of like a button pressing sound. I want to make this a little bit smoother with a bit of release. It's going to sound a little bit, I suppose, a little bit like a bell or a glockenspiel or something. Okay, so very, very different sounds by adjusting attack and release, and we don't even really need to play with decay and sustain at the moment. So.
Okay, and if I increase the attack to a couple of seconds, this is so three seconds-ish, I'm going to get more of a gradual fade-in, um, which gives me more of a sustain and pad kind of feel. Okay, so all we've done is chosen a sine wave, which is a single um, harmonic, and then we've shaped that using an envelope. So before we go on to other parameters, I'm going to go back to having this with a fairly short attack and release. And I'm just going to use this, so it's just a simple, as I said before, one harmonic, just a sine wave. Um, and I'm going to use this to add some bass to the sort of musical idea we've got going on here. So let's play that again so we remember what it sounds like. Okay, so I'm going to record in the simple pattern that I was just playing. And let's click on here so you can see it. All right. it out, bring it in gradually, you can hear the low end fill out. So if you want a deep, um, subby um, and simple bass sound, that's pretty much all you've got to do. You know, this will just fill out the low end. So it's a single frequency, it's nice and clean and it's a good way to fill out the low end of a mix.